Hey guys, so I just got back from my doctor's. Um, I should have vlogged, I totally forgot. Um, and Jim hasn't been in a video in so long and he was with me and that would have been fun, but my brain's all, it's not all there, guys. I'm like so tired and forgetful all the time. So The doctor said everything looks good so far. The blood work came back okay. The um, ultrasound looked good. She did agree with the technician that it's a subchorionic hematoma. And she said not to worry that it's common in early pregnancy um, as your uterus changes and shifts and everything. Sometimes you can create that little pocket of blood and... Um, it should just clear up on its own. So the only th restrictions she's given me is um, kind of what I thought on my own and what I've been doing anyways is more low impact working out and less weights. So um, the walking that I've been doing and focusing on is what I should continue to do. And also she said no adult time until the the spotting eases up so well it has eased up but she's like when the spotting stops then you can resume like normal so yeah so basically what i've been doing um has been good and yeah that's it the only from the last video i have the same symptoms where i'm good during the day exhausted by the afternoon and uh, nauseous in the evening with no interest in food or anything uh, in the evening so that's been the same this week and the only new symptom has been a little bit of constipation so i gotta make sure uh, sorry about the tmi gotta make sure to drink lots of water um um, I, I got prunes and I got um, some peppermint tea so that, yeah, get things flowing there because that's not fun. It's not a good day when you don't poop. So everything's been good and yeah, um, I have not weighed myself. The doctor keeps weighing me. Like every time I go see the doctor, um, the nurse weighs me, but she doesn't say anything. She probably doesn't want to depress me. <laughs> and I can't read the little, you know, those doctor scales. So I haven't weighed myself there. I don't feel any different. I just feel bloated in my belly. I was really, really hoping to use my first trimester to lose weight, to lose like a good 10 pounds because um, it doesn't really matter if you lose uh, weight during your first trimester. Your baby is getting all its nutrients from the yolk sac, not from the placenta yet and all that stuff. So I was really hoping to use that time to to lose weight so that I could start my pregnancy. Like once I started gaining weight from pregnancy, I was already like ahead of the game. I would just gain back that same stuff that I lost. So I would just stay the same. But with all the stuff that happened, I have not been, you know, going to the gym. I've just been going for walks and I have not, I've kind of just eaten whatever works. Um, I've been staying within my calorie range for most days, which has been really good and I'm proud of myself. Um, I assume if I'm gaining chunks of weight, the doctor would have said something to me, but she didn't say anything. Um, yeah, so I'm just focusing on being healthy and trying to get like, I have no interest in vegetables. I have only interest in fruits. So I've been making sure to, whenever I can, get in like a smoothie where I throw in a bunch of kale or or spinach with my fruit and um, I'm drinking those because nice fresh cold smoothie that tastes sweet, you know, disguises the veggies. We went grocery shopping yesterday and we got a lot of um, healthy fruits and vegetables, but I have no interest in the vegetables but I'm gonna get them in somehow, some way. It's 10.30, so I'm gonna have, um, I bought a little Winnie, Winnie, I bought a little mini watermelon and I'm gonna have some of that now and hopefully the episode of Bachelor is up because I'm gonna watch that. And that's it. And, and I have to make sure, so when the night comes, when it's dark outside, 
like don't even ask me to cook a meal to eat a meal like not interested so i'm going to cook um jim wanted some pasta for tonight because i bought we found this sauce that has like capers and olives in it like a tomato sauce with that stuff like a, a ready-made one that you just have to heat up so he wanted that tonight for dinner so i'm gonna cook it during the day while i don't want to barf so yeah, I'm just going to cook it and then like put it away in a container and he can have it when he's home. So I may have that for lunch if it seems okay. It seems like I need bland food. Like the less fragrant it is, the more interested I am. Um, I've been obsessed with just like bagels and I've been really trying not to. Because if I could eat a bagel for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day with some fruit... I'd be like the happiest lady in the world, but I've got to watch it because I'm not just pregnant. I'm pregnant on a weight loss journey, right? And even though my um, weight loss journey is going to be a little bit different for the next nine months because I won't be physically losing weight, I'm still going to be doing everything that I should be doing to be healthy. So going for walks and uh, drinking lots of water, eating a lot of healthy food and sticking to my one cheat meal a week. Oh yeah, that's what I did. So I'm proud of myself that this weekend I stuck to it because usually I'll be good all week and then free for all on the weekend. But I stuck to my one cheat meal. On Saturday we had pad thai and chocolate and that was our cheat meal and that's what we did on Saturday and even though I went to a baptism on Sunday, I stuck to just good, clean, healthy food and um, like I only ate half of everything because the baptism had different courses and I just had a little taste of each of the um, courses. So I'm really proud of myself with that because yeah, like really I just want to eat when I'm hungry and not really care but I've got to remember that I'm still overweight and I don't want to be gaining chunks of weight during this pregnancy because that won't be good for me or the baby and I don't want to develop issues while I'm pregnant. So yeah, just continuing to be as healthy as possible is what I'm doing. I'm talking a mile a minute. Wow, this little burst of energy. But that'll be over soon in a few hours. I'm going to be like, okay guys, I'm ending the vlog. Bye. All right. Watermelon, The Bachelor. Here I come. So I'm really hoping this watermelon's good. Um, I always just try to get one that has like a yellow spot and most of the time it's okay. But in the winter, it's a hit or miss really. So here's hoping. Okay, the color is pretty red. Okay, I'm really annoyed. Like why did it cut like that? How can I take a picture for Instagram with this? Oh, okay. Seems a little bit soft, maybe too ripe. Yeah, it's a little bit too ripe, but it's really sweet at least. Okay, could be worse. Very watery, so it'll be nice and hydrating. Mm. Of course, look. <laughs> look at Oliver. He hears the watermelon and he's like, I'm ready for some. You want some, buddy? Let me get you a little piece. Let me get you a little piece. You like this? Okay, lie down. No, lie down. There you go. Is that good? We have like three huge boxes from the brick overtaking our condo um because we bought a bed uh before we just had a bed frame and uh we wanted like a headboard and a whole bed type of deal so we got it but then we're like why don't we paint our bedroom before we set up a bed and possibly ruin it and ha or have to take it apart anyways i'm not giving you more watermelon so stop looking at me like that Boop. so it's lunchtime right now but since i tend to eat dinner really early before it gets dark outside um, i'm just having like more of a snack type thing i kind of made like an antipasto plate so i have a fresh whole tomato here sun-dried tomato some marinated button mushrooms and some melba toast so yeah that's what i'm gonna munch on now go relax um watch a little tv work on some diet stuff and that's it 
So some of you guys have asked me what kind of pasta I use. I use Catelli Smart. I don't know if it's everywhere or just in Canada, but I like it because it looks and tastes like white pasta but has added fiber. And sometimes I know like whole wheat pasta tastes very grainy and like kind of breaks apart, but this is good. It tastes like regular pasta. So it has 300 calories per serving with eight grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. So I really like that and it tastes great. So that's what I mostly use. So this is the sauce I'm gonna try today. Um, I've never had this brand before. Um, it was in my local grocery store and I decided to try it because the thought of plum tomatoes, olives and capers sounded interesting. Like I'm used to the basic, um, you know, just basic tomato sauce or a meat sauce or a veggie sauce. So I like the idea of olives and capers, that kind of, you know, sharp vinegary taste uh, being added and I'll probably add some chili flakes because I know Jim likes things spicy So hopefully this is good. It smells delicious So I'm also going to throw together a salad to have alongside our pasta I'm going to use a head of romaine lettuce tomato some cucumber and probably oil vinegar sea salt um, type of dressing um, yeah, so what I'm probably going to do is have a small bowl of pasta now when it's ready and then wait a couple of hours for when Jim gets home and eats his dinner. I'll join him with a little bit of salad. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so good. I'm, I'm really surprised. I really like the flavor of the olives. There's capers, the tomatoes. It's seasoned really nicely, so I'm definitely going to get this again. So look who's home. Mom, mom, man, I love this lighting. Can we not buy some decent light bulbs that will help with the vlogging? It's like when I don't have natural lighting, I just, it looks all slow motion and we look yellow and shiny. Anyways, what do you think about this pasta? This is very good. You're not even going to sit down. He's like eating right in the kitchen. <laughs> He's not even sitting. Whatever, man. <laughs> Wait. Sit and relax and enjoy it. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> He's so excited because he chose this sauce. He's like, hmm, capers and olives. Let's try that. And I was like, I don't know about it, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm glad you like it. I, can I know about it. It's damn good. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to get him in the vlog a little bit. So I waited till he came home. We should have vlogged from the morning because we had a fun morning. I'm yeah. just always so forgetful with the vlogging. I forgot about it too, though, because I, sh I, I should have known. Like, some, like something like that would be important to you to vlog. Yeah, but it should be on my mind more because I'm the vlogger. Like, you well, have your day job. That's enough for you to think about. Whatever. Ali, what are you doing? I was trying to go behind our bed boxes. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy spending the day with me. And give a like for Jim finally being on one of the vlogs yeah, it's been for like while. three seconds sorry guys i'll try to make more appearances no i gotta i gotta do it more like on the weekend when we're together i'll demand my 15 seconds of it of <laughs> it's 15 minutes of fame not 15 minutes like whatever you know what i mean i just want to be inserted in there for a couple of minutes that's all i want you inserted in there that's what she's <laughs> <laughs> It I is did. that. Let's <laughs> try that scene again. Be record. Redo. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.